Okay, we're live. <laughs> we're just trying to extract a dog. We're just trying to get Monty out because. Monty. <laughs> what are you doing? Come on. Okay. Welcome. Uh, there will be Andrea here in a sec. She's just taking Monty into the other room. So, yes, welcome to our Sunday show on a Monday. Um, we were out. You all right? Yeah. We were out watching fireworks uh with family last night honest we weren't having a row <laughs> <laughs> or maybe we were who knows yeah. um so yeah we had to postpone it there was i mean we could have gone live later but we'd have been exhausted and i wouldn't have looked any of this stuff up either no exactly so yeah we have well we didn't get home till nearly nine so it would no. be a bit late so you have us on a Monday instead. Well, Simple as that. Short today. You know, your chair's really high. Is that? Hold on. <laughs> Is that better? How's that? I've shrunk. That's better. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We've we got enough room to move stuff around. Oh, you've got well, a big cup of tea there. So yeah, been a mad rush. We always say that. I've just come from uh, John, the Cincinnati Pickers channel. Literally five minutes ago, uh, we had a, a chat over there. Um, John kind of interviewed me for his series on resellers. Yeah. So thanks for that, John, if you're watching. Uh, really enjoyed it. Wow, lots of mushrooms just appeared in the chat. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got a bit of a haul because we went out on Saturday mm -hmm. to a book sale. To a book sale? Did you buy any books? <laughs> <laughs> no, no book. Did we buy? Um, oh, I bought some at the Jumble though, and then charity shops. Anyway. Yeah, but not at the book sale. No. <laughs> And then what else did we do? Um, and we bought, oh, well, <laughs> I don't know where I am. <laughs> I just literally finished cooking dinner. Um, what did we do? We went to a jumble sale. Yeah. That's what we did. Yes. <laughs> and then we went charity shopping. So we had kind of a, we, we're still not really sourcing stock. We're still trying to see if we can get to that mythical place of having everything we have listed. Um, but we went out and filled the back of the car with, with goodies, um, some of which we're going to share with you. So that's the plan. Um, let me just move the mic a bit nearer. Hopefully you can hear us and see us okay. Nobody yeah. seems to well, be complaining. I'm always quiet. <laughs> Let me scroll back and just say a few hellos. Um, Adrian was first in, so welcome. And Jamie, Chelsea, Benjamin, Karin, Kyle, Peter. Um, I don't know if Peter's received his Wu-Tang Clan. Peter Wright and Peter Hill. <coughs> his Wu-Tang Clan controller, which he kindly bought off me. I don't know. Perhaps he'll tell you. Yeah. Has it turned up yet, Peter? Um, yeah. Lots of people. Ben is in there. Stu. So let me put there. <laughs> Scroll down. Um, James would like a shout out. There you go, James. Welcome. Lots and lots of thumbs up. <laughs> um, Darren's in there. Hi, mate. Siv K. Candy Floss mm. Crown. Stephen Bennett, Jason Entwistle. Wow. Um, John Breddy, George so Ross. We've already got 113 yes, viewers on, well. on a Monday. Oh, hi, Z. <laughs> Hello, mate. Um, so, yeah, plan's going to be to just show you some of the stuff we picked up on Saturday because we haven't had many hauls recently. No. So, we'll just share some goodies. Um, that's about it. Yeah, so, what, what did we end up talking about last week? It wasn't reselling related, or was that the week before? I don't know. <laughs> I have no memory. <laughs> we just we didn't have much to talk about, did we? End up we we coped quite well. We just waffled for an hour. Was it worth talking about then? <laughs> There's always questions that come in. Yeah. Um, I'm barred. Hang on, this is only me. It says I'm barred for life from the charity shop. Yippee! Rather burn stuff now than give it to charity. What? Okay. Well, surely there's other charity shops you can donate to. Not quite sure I understand what's going on there. No. Anyway, right. Um, let me scroll to the end of the chat. Uh, blimey. Lots of lots going on. Loads of chat. Right. So, um, well, somebody actually just said in, in the chat there, how's everyone's sales been today, said Tom. Um, sales today have been pretty good for us. We've just had a really good weekend yeah, you may have seen good. on the tat chat I shared me printing off labels, which seem to just go on forever. Um, I think I shipped out 38 today, mm -hmm. uh, including some Amazon stuff. So, yeah, it's been really good. It's been 
still quite up and down, but we've we've grossed between Amazon and eBay approximately about dead on two thousand in yeah. the end uh, for the week. So that's pretty good. It's certainly Christmas kicking in. Sold some gifty stuff. So that's good. Yeah. Happy days. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about stuff. Stuff. Shall oh, I? I sold a Christmas jumper, didn't I? He did sell a Christmas okay. jumper, and you bought some fancy um, Christmas bags yeah there was, there was somebody on um instagram that was talking about them poly bags so um i bought some because they look really nice <laughs> yeah it's quite a bit girly we've got we've got christmasy poly bags now it was for clothes though i mean i don't expect you to use them uh victor says hey nick i've been watching your videos for a bit now love the vids keep it up thanks appreciate that we're not planning on going away um Right, what, how are we going to start this? Do you want to start? Or yeah, you start if you like. Start? Yeah. Okay. Um, this is all, I think, from the Jumble. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, we went over to a Jumble sale, got there about an hour early. It is in a vlog, which I'm having some tech issues with, but that will be available to watch again soon, hopefully. Um, so you'll see me at the Jumble sale, both of us at the Jumble sale. Um, I never find decent media there. There's always media buyers and it's kind of a scrum to get to it. Um, I got to the media about five minutes after it started and still managed to find some fairly good stuff. So uh, two copies of Lord of the Rings on Wii. Cool thing about these is they're, they're virtually mint condition. There's nothing wrong with them at all. Um, worth about eight to 10 pounds on FBA or eBay. It's very similar. So that's those. Uh, Disney Brave on the Wii, not a great title, five to eight pounds, either, coffee, either Amazon or eBay. Okay. Uh, another Lego Harry Potter one this is, uh, years five to seven. Uh, FBA, I'm going to shoot for about 15. I think I'm going to send this one in. eBay, a fair bit lower, five to ten pound they seem to be going for. So I think that one's for FBA. Darren the Banner, is that his new name? <laughs> down the banner has oh, he been banning people yeah. oh he's getting his ban hammer <laughs> out um and then i picked up a wii sports these were all 50 pence um and then he did me a little bit of a deal on it all at the end um a wii sports which i tend to hold back and bundle with a wii when i get it but you can sell them on their own quite easily but there was a brucey bonus inside Brucey bonus. <laughs> those eagle eyes uh, yeah eagle eyed of you well know what it is already uh it's we New Super Mario Brothers. And um, kindly, a chap called Daniel messaged me because he saw in the vlog we made that I picked that up as a loose disc. Uh, he said he's got the box and manual, so he's going to send yeah. it over. So if you're watching, Daniel, really appreciate that. That's cool. Um, yeah, that's a good game to resell. It's holding its value. That's I it. can't remember now. Well, 10, it's 10 Mario, pounds? isn't it? That's fine. I think it's around 10 to 12 on eBay and maybe 15 on FBA. But these two are scratched up, so they'll be need repairing. Um, and the pick of the pack there, uh, Pokey Park Two. Oh, that's very um. Is that alliteration? That it's was the that, pack, Pokey that, Park. That was fine alliteration. <laughs> um, yeah, so I paid fifty p as I did with the rest of them. Um, cheapest currently on FBA used is twenty nine. Uh, on eBay, these sell regularly for about twenty. So. It's one of the better Wii titles, but pretty much anything with Pokemon in it uh, on Nintendo is worth picking up. Well, on Nintendo, it's a Nintendo licensed thing, so it's going to be on Nintendo. Yeah. So yeah, that was a cool pickup. Um, and then I just picked up were these? No, where were these from? Oh, that was from the book sale, wasn't it? Oh, these were book sale. Yes, yeah. uh, we went to the book sale, and you may have seen in that vlog. I don't know, it was all right, but the books were quite pricey, weren't they? Yeah, it was like three for two pounds, wasn't it? So, yeah, which is fine if you're buying a book for yourself or yeah. if it's a but hardbacks a... were like one or two pounds, yeah, books, hardbacks so. were a pound or two. Yeah, but weirdly, last time we were there, we bought a stack of books and they just charged it, they just kind of made it up. They just went, Oh, give us a ten of the lot, didn't they? Yeah, before it disappears, um, Paul and Mary in Kent said, Hi, Nick and Andrea, love your live show, keep up the great work. So thank you, Paul and Mary. <coughs> nice to see you here. Thank you. <coughs> thank you very much. You've done too much talking tonight, haven't you? <laughs> well, I've just been talking with John for an hour. Yeah. And my voice started to go a bit hoarse at the end of that. 
So after this hour, who knows? I was trying to rush, rush eating my dinner and managed to spill gravy all down my trousers, all over the sofa. It was you quite mucky a mess, woman, you. So I had to go and get changed. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we were late, going live. <laughs> anyway, these were from the book sale. This is all we came away with. Um, nothing exciting. Most of it's for FBA, a couple of DVDs. Um, a lot of DVDs really aren't worth a great deal, even if they're sealed. I mean, that I picked up. They, they were, what were they doing? Four, four for a pound? No, 20p each. Mm, yeah, well, she said 50p originally. Yeah. Which was odd. But anyway. Um, um, Julie Hall, is it? Ju no, on. Halil. Uh, Julie Halil, I need my glasses on, um, said, how do you repair a CD? Um, well, if you've got, um, you can get a machine, which basically, it basically sands off a layer of the plastic and takes the scratches away with it. Mm. We used to have one when, when we had our gaming shop for a while. Uh, we don't have one anymore. No, but CEX have a service yeah. where you can take them in and they'll skim them for you. I think some game stores do as well, as in yeah. the name of the shop game. Um, and it's generally around a, a couple of pounds to get a disc repair, which isn't economical for most titles. But if it's worth, yeah. if it's worth fairly good money, then it's worth doing. Yeah, if it's got a hole in it or you can see light through it, though, it's not worth doing because yeah. you won't get rid of that. Deep scratches you generally can't yeah. get out. Um, I was just going to say, a lot of DVDs, even if they're sealed, um, aren't worth much money because Amazon sells them so cheap. I think this is Bill Bailey, which I loved a bit. So actually, I had this, didn't I? I think I had that for Christmas one year. Um, but even that's only worth about £3 sealed. So, uh, And the rest is just FBA fodder there. Um, the first thing I picked up at the Jumble was two Lego... Oh, can you not move? Hang on, hang on. Two Lego games. That one you'll see quite often uh, called Minotaurus. Um, I think I sent one up to FBA not long ago, actually, and I'm shooting for around £20, which is what I, I looked at today as well. So that, if it's complete, I haven't checked it yet, we'll go into Amazon, and these were 50 pence each. But the better of the two was this one, which is part of the Heroica series. There's, like I don't know, six or seven of these, and they all... Um, they're like expansion packs and they all sort of add to each other, I believe. Um, so yeah, that's cool. It's the Fortran Castle one. And what did I say? Cheapest on FBA currently is 35. So I will probably send it in around that sort of money. Yeah. And it's got a fairly good rank as well. Um, Sib K says, any hard and fast rules on picking up CD albums or do you think you need to have experience and knowledge like your good selves? I think you need a little bit of experience and knowledge, but not completely i mean we just scan stuff if you've got a, a smartphone with the amazon app in you don't need any experience it gives um, you an idea but, but be prepared to scan a yeah. hundred to find one yeah i mean we scanned pretty much both uh, yeah crates for there was a couple of crates and what we we went through and disregarded anything we know is is common yeah and then pulled out all the stuff with with that was classical or interesting or something we hadn't heard of yeah, before something a bit obscure ended up with a pile that big and scanned that yeah. and i found well five <laughs> yeah. we must have scanned about 50 no no 100 maybe but yeah it's yeah. and yeah selling on ebay i mean that's a bit more tricky isn't it because you, you don't know what sells really um well i do sell on ebay but you have to go for the stuff collectors are wanting that's worth your time most cds aren't worth yeah. especially now you've got the likes of music magpie and Ziffit selling on there and they're selling for like one pound 50 delivered there's no there's no point you know albums that we used to sell back in like 2002 for a tenner you can get for one pound 50 delivered now yeah it's just madness um go on do you want Oh, oh, I was going to say Andy Robinson asked me a question. Are you still following Nick around in the bucket after his fanboy chat with Craigslist Hunter or has the drooling stopped? <laughs> What's your question? I didn't notice any drooling, I have to say. No, I, I did love chatting to Pete. He's a fascinating, a truly fascinating guy. Yeah. Um, and we had kind of so much in common, how our, how our lives have panned out. Yeah. Apart from the... I, I found it really funny that... Before you went on the chat, you were saying, 
oh you know I kind of envy him having that big shop and a, you know I miss replay and I miss having a shop like that so I could buy stuff over the counter and then he said in the chat um oh I envy you that I you know I sometimes I wish yeah. that I didn't have a shop and that I probably wouldn't have one if I could go back and do it again and yeah do what you do and, and I just thought that was fascinating actually <laughs> I think that the further away we get, I was chatting to John Cincinnati Picker, as I said before on his channel, and that came up and I said that I, I miss it. I really miss having the shop. But when we left it and when we closed the doors, it was like a huge relief yeah. and a huge weight off our shoulders. And we, we, we got our lives back. But the further and further you get away from it, you forget all the, you do. the amount of hard work, the amount you're tied to it, the amount of grief we had to put up with, with break-ins and theft continually. Yeah. You start but, to remember all the, the nice parts of it and you think, oh, I kind of, I missed that. Yeah. Yeah. But I I don't think, but we said this when we left Replay, which was our gaming <laughs> shop, we said we're never doing retail again. No. But three and a half years later, we set up Andrea's your clothing yeah, shop. Yeah, but I think that's put me off for life now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which didn't work out. And that's, that's... <laughs> You know, you've got to take the rough yeah. with the smooth, but I don't think we'll be doing retail again. No. I do love what we're doing now. Yeah, I think we've we've found our kind of sweet spot. Yeah, where we're we're doing enough to be comfortable yeah. and we're happy. Because before we had the shop, I mean, we really didn't have the same sort of direction that we've got now. So I think that showed us, or it definitely showed me what I wanted to do because I I was a bit lost, not really knowing what. I particularly wanted to specialise in or what I wanted to do. Yeah. I think it was so, just something we needed to get out of our system. Yeah. Simple as that. And I'd rather be that person who tries everything, you know, yeah. for better or for worse, than doesn't give it a go. But one big thing I realised was that um, there isn't a huge amount of money in children's clothing, unless it's, you know, the odd designer thing or, you know, high, yeah. high value kind of... Um, I, I think we were in the, brands. I think it was a lot to do with location still. I think we were in the wrong town. Well, there was that. Kitchen's but very upmarket. Just generally, you know, I've, I've stopped pretty much, I pick up the odd thing, but I've stopped pretty much selling it on eBay now. Because yeah. Because there just aren't the margins in it. That's interesting. You should do a video about clothing and you, what you've learned. Yeah. Anyway, we're digressing again. <laughs> We've got a super chat from Krillin. Thank you, Krillin. Yes. Said saw the breeders last night in Chinatown. Amazing. Wow. I was listening to them earlier. What's the track I love of theirs? Is it Cannonball? I think that's them. I don't sure, know. I, I, don't, just... I, I could tell you what some of the covers look like, but I couldn't tell you what they sounded like. Last Splash. <laughs> I think. Anyway. I cool. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's not long till we go and see Depeche Mode again. When is that? That's like. That's in couple, a couple of weeks. Yeah. About two weeks away. Mm. Yeah. Epic. Yeah um okay i think it was graham before said um thank you for posting the cna labels in the chat chat i, oh, I yeah. posted like a picture of um vintage labels and dates on them for cna because i was i was obviously researching something i'm going to show you in a minute but um yeah i found it and i thought that was just really interesting actually because it, it just helped me to date what the label was and what yeah the, the that would be was. a really cool resource to have over on the blog so it doesn't just disappear in the feed of a yeah i'll probably group. post it on the blog you could find a few like um i don't know if they do them for different companies or where that came from but uh, if i've you never could find... seen anything as clear and concise as that yeah for other companies i, I often search labels and vintage labels just to try and date things so then you can say with accuracy just by looking at the label what year it was made yeah that's cool well it kind of gave you a window of, of years but yeah know. yeah cool um stephen bennett i've spent the last two weeks watching craigslist hunter his videos are addictive i really enjoy them he's got so much knowledge on such a massive variety of stuff because he's bought and sold whatever he gets offered pretty much i was chatting to him in that show and i said to him you know is there anything you don't buy and there wasn't really <laughs> anything you didn't buy no. he'll, he'll he'll go where the money is and and that's yeah, what you have absolutely. to do you're kind of, you're a bit like that really yeah i i tend to deal in smaller stuff yeah on, in the main okay we I... don't really have the room in our house <laughs> no although did i tell you oh, i did tell you i bought a, a massive it's about that long a keyboard 
Oh, no, you didn't tell me. Oh, I'm going to pick it up tomorrow. No, no, now he's telling me. But I didn't buy that doctor's bed that I was going to buy. No, thank the goodness. The chiropractor. I nearly bought this. I, I reckon I could have made a load of money on it. It was a full size, obviously, bed, you know, like you'd go and sit on, like a psychiatrist's couch. Mm -hmm. But it was designed for, I think, chiropractors and stuff. And it had drawers under it. And it was about £500 new. And this thing looked hardly used. And I could have got it for 50 but it was just... Yeah, I was trying to put you off. I didn't really want something that big in that. I reckon I could have flipped <laughs> it for like it was gonna go. two or three hundred. You might still have it. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm resisting. I'm still trying oh, to clear stuff, honestly. Oh, Colin's um, super chatted again. I recorded Cannonball on my channel. Oh, right. Oh, I'll go and have a look at that next then. Month. Yeah. Moz next month. Oh, Moz next month. Morrissey. Oh, Morrissey. Moz. <laughs> I was listening that one. <laughs> I was listening to his uh, new single oh, I love it. earlier, and I'd just come out of Andrea's office where it was playing on the You were listening to the radio. I came in here and it was on my Spotify. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Let's get on with this. We'll be here all night. A um, few books, nothing amazing. That just because I needed one for a bundle. These were interesting. I think a lot of people pick these up. They're the uh, lemony snicket ones. They look like the same design as the hardbacks, but they are in fact paperback. Um, and they have not been read. No. So I've got a stack of those. It's a those. shame, isn't it? Someone got them for a gift probably. And this yeah. Never read them. Well, what was slightly annoying is that it's only half a set or just, no, just under half a set. Yeah. So they were in a charity shop at 50 pence each. The same charity shop where and I think this was in that video, which I need to make live again, where you got the stockings. Yeah. Have you got the stockings with I've you? I've got them with me. I have looked them up. Do you want to show those now then? Yeah. They're not as amazing as I thought they'd be. But... Well, they were worth taking a punt on. We, we we were buying some bits and bobs in a charity shop and on the counter, they were just, I think they were just about to price them up or put them out. Yeah. Um, so and they Andrea are spotted these. vintage Christian Dior stockings. So vintage as and in what, 80s? There was a pair of vintage Laura Ashley tights as well in there. So how old do you think they are? Um, I think they're probably about 80s. Yeah. So it wasn't as good as I was hoping, but... What are they worth? Um, I think about £5 a packet. That's all right, from 49p. <laughs> it's just not as good as I was hoping. Or will you bundle but, them up? Um, or they... I might do, actually, because they're all the same size, I think. Oh, yeah, one size. So, yeah, I'll probably bundle them. I reckon you'd, you'd do better as a maybe a bundle for 20 quid or something. Yeah. They're or, all or would you do that one separately? Of blue as well. I might, uh, yeah, I might do that one separately, but do that as a bundle. I have one of those moments where I forgot we were live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's just, yeah, okay. You were just um, so in, enthralled with my stockings. <laughs> I think that was a great pickup, enthralled with your stocking day. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. You could keep some. I don't wear stockings. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, moving on swiftly. <laughs> um, these were at the jumble sale. Um, I can't remember what you charged me. I think 20p a book, something like oh, that. I didn't maybe. See these. That one's nice. Yeah, they're both really nice, actually. Yeah. Uh, this is one of the dummies books, a lot of which aren't worth bothering with. This one is pretty good. Um, I'm going to shoot for about 12, I think, on Amazon. It's in lovely condition uh, and probably came from the same person who donated. There's another fashion art book, How yeah. to Draw Like a Fashion Designer. That's very nice. Um, this one, I'm going to actually go eBay and I'm going to shoot for about nine, ten pounds. Again, looks yeah. unread, to be honest. So they were quite nice. Can you scroll to the end of the chat so we can see what people are saying? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh There's a question from Sid K. It says, Nick and Andrea, if someone came up to you and said, I want to resell for a living, what is the one tip you would give them? Selling your own stuff, stuff first, it doesn't count. <laughs> okay, I'll say what I said to John in the chat I was just on, um, which was try and at least start with something you're already passionate about because you've got a head start on it it's so yeah, much definitely. easier to, to buy and sell something a you've got a bit of knowledge in and b it 
excites you or yeah, it interests really you. Interested in. Yeah. Yeah. Because this game is hard enough work as it is, and then if you add into the fact that you're maybe buying and selling clothing which doesn't interest you, mm. you're just doing it because you think there's money in it. It makes it twice as hard. As you know. As I know, yeah. Because I tried doing clothing with Andrea for quite a while and hated it. Um, okay, more jumbly bits. This, I don't know what money's in it. I couldn't really find any completed. It's one of those little Duplo books where you build things as you go. We had these for Ellen. Oh, we had the one with the polar bear. Yeah. Yeah, loved that. With the polar bear, you had to like, you built a little bridge to get over a river and then you built a little canoe to sail down the river. Then you built yeah. an igloo. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. So this one, I don't know if it's been used. I'm not sure. The, the bottom of the box is a bit bashed up. Um, I think I paid 50p for that. I don't know what money's in it, but anything Duplo or Lego, mm. I tend to go on. Standard. Boggle. Boggle. There was um, a vintage Boggle game in the background in Stranger Things. Oh, right. <laughs> I noticed. Wow. I love Boggle. I've played Boggle for hours. Um, a few more books from the jumble, which worked out. I think at this point they were about ten p each. I think I paid about a pound for this lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Um, that which I'm sure everyone knows is not officially a Harry Potter book, but it's part of the Harry Potter world. So I tend to bundle that with um, books, and they're worth checking if they're first edition because firsts of that are, go really well. Um, and then I took a chance on a few bits. I've no idea what I've got, really. These, because they look brand new and unused, unread. Barry Loser. Who knows? Very strange. But when you're paying 10p a book, I'll, I'll have a go. Learn something. And then some of these David Mitchell books. Now, I wasn't sure if this was David Mitchell, as in the guy who um, is married to Victoria Corrin. No, it's it not. isn't. Okay. Um, but yeah, three of his again, lovely, lovely condition. Actually, that one's a bit dented. But yeah. Yeah. And the pointless book and the pointless book too. Now this is um, Alfie Days, who's a YouTuber. I doubt there'll be much money in it because these books sold in their millions, believe it or not. Yeah, the third one's just come out. Oh, has it? Well, mm -hmm. I figured Christmas time as a as a pair. Did you look through it though? Did you make sure no one's written in it? No. Well, we we bought these for Ellen, didn't mm -hmm. we? She was into Alfie and Zoella. Not anymore, really. And it's a, a book that you kind of fill in yourself. Yeah. It's really cool, actually, because you can put your phone over certain bits and then yeah. it, it will reveal things for you. And... Yeah, you point your phone at certain pages and it comes up with... You see stuff on your phone, yeah. don't you? But it looks like this has not been used at all. Cool. So, I don't know, 10p each. I, I thought I'd experiment with those. Um, do you want to do some clothing now? Oh, I could do. Let me just pop in the chat. Oh, Caroline Celtic Traders is in there. No passion, no listing. Laugh out loud. Yeah. Well, that's a t-shirt for you. <laughs> yeah. No passion, no listing. We were talking about maybe getting some t-shirts printed uh, in time for Christmas, but we haven't got organised yet. Well, the story of our lives. We haven't got organised yet. <laughs> we need a t-shirt well, says we haven't got organised. Yeah. Yet. We'll let you know if we get anything done before Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've got a really squeaky chair. <laughs> just, just don't move. It's very difficult not to. So I picked this up in the charity shop actually when we went into wear afterwards. It was three ninety nine, and it is vintage Jaeger. Yeah. It's a tweed skirt. Um, and I'm going to shoot for about twenty on that, I think. Okay. Now you were telling me that that's in fashion. It is anything tweed checked that sort of material is in fashion at the moment cool yes. so i was pleased with that and this was um this was jumble sale i absolutely love this it's not my size it's a bit big but um it's own it's kaleidoscope so it's nothing special but i just really love the style of it oh cha -ching. Um, We've got cha-ching and stereo there on both phones. <laughs> so I'm going to try £15 on that one. And that jumble sale, you said? That's jumble sale, yeah. And that was... 
no 50p i think so you bought way more than you're going to show didn't you you bought oh yeah i'm only going to show you about 10 items but i am going to do a haul so you're going to do a separate yeah, so like i'm going to do a haul like i did last okay. time oh we've just sold a board game oh. the lion king that's no, quite apt don't. because i've got these uh chaps to show you in a minute oh yeah I'm uh, looking over there. Thinking, <laughs> no, no, over there. Come on. Um, yeah, we sold Lion King for 20 with four pound shipping. That's cool. Right, this was charity shop. I took a punt on this. It was actually five pounds. If you can see the label there, it's vintage Chloe perfume. It's Stella McCartney for Lagerfeld. Um, and it hasn't been used at all. It's still completely full yeah and it's like a little gift set and it has like a powder thing with it, right, it as says well chloe on so if you see that out and about um but i'm going to try for about 15 to 20 on that as well but uh, i couldn't find anything on the completed so it's not great from a five i then. don't know because i couldn't find anything for the duet on completed the, the perfume was there for sort of 10 to 15 i might i might try more i don't know it hasn't been used at all so i'd go yeah go considerably more than you got nothing and to it lose. is christmas i suppose so i don't know we'll, well give it a go that's now. how and i've said this so many times that's how you but learn still five pounds 15 to 20 pounds yeah we're you shipping know, on so top bad. so it's not too bad um, but you have to take a chance on things did you not look it up at the time then yeah and i thought at the time i was going to try right for that cool that's yeah. it you've got to you've got to have a go at things and what? these i absolutely love these are 20p at the um, jumble sale and they are vintage shoes but i don't know if that's a particular brand as it says inside it or if it's unbranded i don't know i've never seen that before but it just says what does it say what, what does it say quality product of the united, united kingdom, kingdom. Well, they don't make many shoes in the uk anymore no, that exactly way. and Shoe... they're 1940s style and i've already listed them and i've put them on to try for about 40 pounds really wow i don't know if i'll get that i'm just trying you've got to try if you don't ask you don't but get there's nothing like that sold or on there currently so i just thought i'd try so they're what you reckon that's 40s style, yeah 40s it? style what, were these the ones you described as mini mouse shoes no oh that's the next pair oh okay <laughs> but yeah i really like them these were the ones that are like mini mouse oh shoes. yeah 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 okay <laughs> mini mouse shoes there you go these are would just... you actually use that as a keyword um i didn't in the title oh you've listed them, I've already. Listed them already but i couldn't really fit it in the title it with says everything lycra else. in there look have they got lycra in I assume so. So it's oh, yeah. into like up the sides. I think feels all stretchy. But yeah, that kind, that style with the square toe, sort of high toe there, and the sort of block. Well, it says a Cuban heel, but kind of a blocky Cuban heel. They're quite fashionable at the moment. So, um, and they're, they're only they're only vintage St Michael ones. But um, I have listed those. For twelve ninety nine. Okay. And your stuff all has shipping on top, yeah? Yeah. So they were twenty P as well? They were twenty P as well. Okay. Pretty good. It took me quite a long time to find the pair because <laughs> I picked up one and then it was just everywhere. It was just a mess, complete mess. Perhaps that's why they were still there. Maybe. Because nobody else had found the other one. Maybe. And this is Simply B. It is size 26. But I just thought with Christmas coming up, I really liked that sort of an Art Deco beaded and sequin design. Um, and I've listed that for twelve ninety nine. Apparently, I'm the official used goods sniffer. Was I sniffing stuff again? Oh, yeah, I think you do it just without thinking. Do it without knowing. Do you want me to carry on or do you want to um, do a bit more? I can do a little bit more. Yep. How much were, were you going to list that one for? Twelve ninety nine. Oh, that's cool. That was a jumble one as well, yeah. That was a jumble one. That was, I don't know, it was fifty p, I think. Okay. Yeah. Well, you were paying twenty p at the end. Weren't yeah, you? some but... of them were twenty p, but these weren't. Um, this um is in that vlog I put up, which 
like I was saying before, I will make public again once I've sorted out the issues I've got with it. Um, hold on, Quillin has super chatted five dollars. Oh, thank Thanks, you, mate. Um, Nick and Andrea, do many people in the UK move out of the country when they retire for better weather? Most people in the US uh, Northeast move to Florida or become snowbirds. Yeah, a lot of people do move to the sun. Yeah, there was a Spain. <laughs> there was a. I think that's died down. A lot of people yeah. were moving to Spain. A lot of people were buying up property in Spain and moving down there. But that bubble kind of burst. Yeah, you see people moving to the coast. Yeah, people move to the coast, but a lot of people do go to the sun. Yeah. I've heard this thing that uh, um, people moving to retire to to Florida in the US sounds like fun. Yeah. Until you get a hurricane coming in. God, yeah. And then it's not so much fun. No. Um yeah in that video that i will make public again soon uh you'll see me finding this in a charity shop <laughs> brian says that caroline's moving to the us to be my neighbor and thrift buddy <laughs> ah. nick subconscious sniffing of skirts was i oh. okay <laughs> you're a worry <laughs> <laughs> it's only a problem if there's somebody still in it <laughs> Yeah, so I spotted this in a charity shop, um, did a little bit of research while I was there. I found a completed of this exact model that had sold for 60. So that was enough to make me think, yep, I'm having that. Uh, it was five pounds. I think it's still priced up. I can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, you know, nobody can see that label. It's too close. Somewhere there. That's better. Um, it is a, let me let you know what it is. What's well, a video player? It's a JVC h r j 680 i can't read that <laughs> well it's because the light was anyway yeah i'm going blind um importantly and it's it does make a big difference when selling these it's got its original remote so that's cool um i've since done more research since i got home there's a lot of these that are sold for the 15 to 20 pounds sort of bracket and then this chap managed to get 60 on buy it now so I'm just going to aim high. He has some really good keywords in it and his description listed all the functions. This has some really cool functions. I think it plays NTSC, um, which is quite a big seller for video machines. Um, and he, he listed the whole thing. So I've already drafted it, cheekily copied all of his list of the functions of this and dropped it's them very in. Very cheeky. Well, it's just information. I'm I, really you know. sorry that my chair is squeaking so much. I need to oil it. I think you need oil in. <laughs> I think it's you that's squeaking. So anyway, I'm going to aim for for the the higher end of what these have gone for recently, and hopefully get a good score. It's an interesting point of note in the charity shop. They gave me a little guarantee, which says that thank you for buying your electrical item from the Mind Shop, which is the old um, what was that? They used to be called something else, didn't they? I can't remember. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we test every item we sell to ensure it's it is safe to use so they've pat tested it um however from time to time you may find that not everything works as you would expect to so basically they're giving me a week this only is valid for a week to test it check it works if not i can go back with this and get my money back so that's cool and it's got its instruction manual there as well so hopefully that'll be a nice quick flip yeah and Sip K is saying i didn't answer his question but i don't know what question i didn't answer oh do you so. want me to find it Sorry about that. Well, maybe, I don't know, might be quicker for him to ask again. Because <laughs> I don't know what it was. Oh, my word, I can't no, see it. No, it's gone way, way back, I think. Spoiler alert, he says there. Can't find it. I don't know. You'll have to ask me again, because I don't know if I've missed it. He says there, watch Nick's face, it will happen soon. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, right. Yeah, ask again, Sibke. The question about first tip. I did, didn't I? We answered that. Oh no, what would your tip be to someone who's starting to resell? What would my tip be? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I don't know, probably the same. <laughs> you can't have mine, that's mine. <laughs> I didn't realise we had to have one each. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> You're putting me on the spot now. Oh, Yola's in the chat. Hi, Yola. I'm waiting. Um, <laughs> I'm deflecting now. I don't know. 
Okay. No, that wasn't the question. What? <laughs> I don't know. That's not a question, is it? Do you have a test videotape to test VTR players with? Yeah, I've got a random tape that I found in a machine ages ago, which has got a live concert. Um, who's on it? Oh, Stevie Wonder <laughs> is on it. So I've watched quite a lot of Stevie Wonder when testing videos. I don't know anyway, why I find that quite funny. I'm cuddling a, a warthog and a lion. Yeah. These were at the Jumble Sale. Um, they are official Disney. They're not Disney store. Um, but as you can see, official Lion Hasbro. King. Are they Hasbro? This one is. This one doesn't say Hasbro on, yeah. but I think it might have lost a label. I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, I tried to do some research. I didn't look them up at the time. They were 50 pence each. They're Lion, they're Disney King. <laughs> Disney King. <laughs> Uh, Disney Lion King, so I thought, yeah, why not? This is Nala. <coughs> not um, to be confused with Zoella's dog. No. <laughs> Wrong target audience here, I think. Um, and that's pretty good. I saw one completed for, I think it was about 25 um, for that. It's quite a big thing, obviously. So, yeah, I'll shoot for that sort of money, hopefully, or 20 with shipping, whatever. Um, this, not so much. Uh, I think I'll be lucky to get 10 out of it. So what I'll probably do is just bundle it with that one and do maybe 25 or 30. Um, he's cool, though. He's got, like, bugs in him. They've got little Velcro bits. I think you're meant to um, take this bit of thread off and then you. he's got Velcro under his tongue. Yeah, he's cool. Pumba. Yeah. He's got I'm making... in him. Yeah, he's not in the best of nick. And the Nala one's really good, but this one, yeah. it's a little bit threadbare there. Yeah, I think it's, well, I don't think it's leather, sort of faux leather, but it's a bit, yeah, it's a bit and sort of cracked. No, it's a little bit cracked. So I think I will probably bundle them together. But that would make a really yeah. big part, box then. They're huge. Aren't they doing another Lion King or something? Are they making another Lion King now? Um, they're making a live action. Lion, Lion King, I think. Oh, okay. I thought maybe they were doing another film. Oh, Bonafide Hustler's just gone live. He went live ages ago, about oh, the same time as us. Oh, we're competing <laughs> with, with Chris. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Ah. Nick, you should get a Depeche Mode VHS tape. Awesome testing sessions. I used to have a couple. I don't anymore. I have my DM stuff on DVD these days. Yeah. But yeah. Good idea, though. I, I wouldn't stop watching it, though. It's like if I started watching the Pesh Mode gig, I'd just be there for an hour. Um, Steve and Steph, Resell Killers, um, are in the chat and they say, is Disney as big in the UK? Yes, it's huge in the UK. Uh -huh. yeah. Absolutely massive. The, the films are, well, that worldwide Disney is. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But we do have Disney stores here in the UK. Um, so you can go and get your official Disney merchandise and that stuff's really, really popular. Overpriced. <laughs> Overpriced, but still popular. Mind you, there was a Disney store in Luton, which is near us, and they closed that down, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, they did. I don't know why. I assume Disney stores are still going elsewhere. Yeah, they are. There's a big one in Milton Keynes. Oh, uh, right. Maybe that's why, because that's Maybe. quite close. Yeah. Right. Um, the only other bits I've got are behind you. Do you want to pass those skates and then we'll round off with your clothes, bits, whatever you got left? Oh, they're heavy. Yeah. Now, last thing, I think it was the last thing I bought at the Jumble, um, were these. It was quite near the end and nobody had noticed them, including me. Um, there were three pairs of roller skates um, hidden away under the table. And uh, they let me have them for two pounds for the three pairs. Um, I did a bit of research today. These, which are SFR, seems to be the the make. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that there. Probably not. Um, these are adjustable ones. I've had similar ones before. You press this and you can pull the toe in and out. And these do from UK size three to six. Um, and they're pretty good. I'm going to go for about £20 top on these, I think. 
uh, which isn't amazing but when you consider they owe me what's that 66 p each yeah happy with that really good condition so i don't think that'll be a hard sell the other two pairs that i got in with these for my two pounds are both airwalk inlines and these are uh there's a name it's not written on it but I, in my research i found they're called airwalk aggressive or aggression or something like that and pretty good um i saw a pair um this size which is size five sold recently for 41 on bids but lots had sold for less so i don't know i don't know whether it's to do with condition or what but there's certainly a market for these airwalk skates the other ones if you want to pass one of the other ones up yeah they're exactly the same but larger um so yeah really pleased with them they look they look almost the same but they do, don't they? trust me they're larger so that's that so for two pounds i'm not sure where i'm going to go on these um i did have i don't know what did i say <laughs> oh yeah the size fives went for 41 so i don't know i'm i may just go and buy it now for around that sort of money and see what happens yeah but got nothing much to lose so from a last minute purchase as just as we were about to leave really yeah that's pretty good and that's all the stuff i've got ready to show so i'm done okay yep right now i've just got a few bits left um this is the yeah this is 1970s vintage country casuals country casuals Can't see i think it's something like 65 percent wool Okay. And um, yeah, it's just really nice sort of grey, grey skirt with some pleating on the front, and I've listed that for fifteen pounds. Um, this is jumble sale stuff. This again. is jumble sale stuff. That was a pound. This was on the pound rail. The expensive stuff, eh? Yeah. Oh. This so, was and this was twenty p. <laughs> as we said before, Andrea kind of went to town. So she's got a load more stuff. So you're going to yeah, do a separate I've video. I've got tons. Excuse me. Um, yeah, this was CNA. This was the one I was looking up because that's the label there. Oh, yeah. That reminds me of the 80s. That's quite. Do you reckon this is 80s? So then? that's 80s. It yeah, is. definitely. It's a really nice. Yeah, that is very 80s. Really it? nice sort of nautical blouse. And um, if I could find on my list. I've listed that for twelve ninety nine. Cool. And that was uh, was that a pound rail that thing? That's a twenty p one. That's a twenty p one. Oh blimey! Yeah. Bargain basement. And this was twenty p as well. This is Little Woods. Are we into the realm of fugly yet? <laughs> this is fugly. Yeah. This is Little Woods Amari label. You can you go. see that? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's reflecting. Okay. Yeah. So and yeah, what, it's in skirt? it's it's a fugly loud print skirt vintage. I've listed that for twelve ninety nine. Awesome. Yep, yeah, and that's that's that... everything that I've picked out to show today. Okay, ducky. But yeah, if you're into the clothing uh, clothing hauls, um, you'll get a video up of the rest of it. Yeah. In a few days, hopefully. Yeah, I'm planning to sort of draft everything first. Um, get it all researched and everything, and then I'll do a video. Good yeah. plan. How are we doing for time? Oh, we've got 10 minutes. Okay. Well, we're out of stuff. That's all we have that we've researched and have handy to show you. Um, yeah, we had really good fun. I mean, it was nice to just get out because, yeah. I mean, this year we've not really been outsourcing a great deal since we made the decision to try and get through our backlogs, which we're kind of fading at at the minute. Oh, I definitely am. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I need to start on that sports gear. I even bought but, those boxes in IKEA to try and organise everything, and I haven't even got around to that yet. <laughs> so, mm. Mm. shall I do a video in your office and shame you into organising it? Uh, I'm already shamed into organising <laughs> it. <laughs> it's Not... just I prioritise listing, so I end up just picking stuff out to list, and then it just doesn't get done. Yeah. So. Yes. Well, as I say, that's all we've got 
um to share with you i do just want to say um uh, we're going to bore you to death with this marathon talk <laughs> but for those of you that don't know um we have signed up to do the moonwalk in london next march may no. may um <laughs> with zahir and beck and um we are hoping that you guys might want to sponsor us so i'm going to just live um screen share the page and see where we're at with sponsors and give a few shout outs the last time i looked earlier and you were lagging behind am i yeah it'd probably be me now <laughs> so let's have a look uh the link uh to the page where you can donate even if it's a couple of pounds really doesn't matter just if you can just donate something it's all for um breast cancer research uh right let's see if we can do this right so this is the page um that you should be able to click through and you can go in there and you can kind of keep track of our training because hang on let me just show you um so these are the totals we'll do that first so zaheer currently actually let me refresh any action no nope. uh zaheer there um with his stunning shaven head looking like a, gang a gangster <laughs> his gangster pose uh 62 61 rebecca just behind and then andrea yes i am lagging behind yeah yeah i'm not far in front of you though but it's not a popularity contest so it doesn't matter nope. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah on here we have these apps that track our walk so this was here and back today is that today what's yeah, the date today, yeah, today. 4.73 miles um yeah 4.73 4 miles is our walk on here from today yeah that's us 4.44 miles 4.44 oh so we did less again <laughs> oh dear yeah we didn't do too bad on the kind of average though did we was the uh 11.3 minutes per kilometer yeah i think that works out around sort of 17 to 18 um per mile okay right so there you go so let's see um we had a donation to andrea here from joe so thanks for that um these are all of the walks that we've been doing yeah our wow. sunday walk was quite hilarious though because we went, went for a walk with friends where's that where's and that? um they've got a two-year-old and we had monty so <laughs> <laughs> and also we sat in the pub for about an hour and i forgot to stop walk so it looks like it took us two and a half hours to walk four miles <laughs> yeah that's this one oh, yeah well th funny. this point here was a pub mm -hmm. so we walked out through the country <coughs> through the countryside to the pub sat there for an hour or two having some beer and yeah. came back yeah and then i realized i hadn't actually turned it off <laughs> yeah we were slow as it was but so yeah that's the, that's the page as i said if you guys want to help us out uh, and donate to charity it would be greatly appreciated just scrolling back to see the other donation says heather and girl up north and jason i think we gave these a shout out at the weekend so there we go right let's come out of there um stop my voice is starting to go <clears throat> yeah. ah does fugly sell asks you yeah it tends to it's not a quick seller but it does yeah you sold some pretty hideous stuff over, <laughs> over the years yes <laughs> oh dear. i think your sales have slowed down a little bit i don't know if it's because people are thinking about christmas now apart yeah, from christmas jumpers is. which are going okay yeah. that's what it is people aren't thinking about buying for themselves at the moment they're thinking of buying gifts yeah so this the, the clothes do slow down unless you've got party wear and christmas stuff yeah. yeah makes sense yeah i sold a really nice little little girl's party dress i think yeah i'll package that up today um heather question are there other resellers doing the moonwalk um i don't know but if anyone else wants to get involved yeah we can make that happen and meet up and do whatever but i don't know mm -hmm. if anyone else is doing it yet um okay. certainly us four that's all we know of <laughs> so far um a good walking app is endo mondo yeah. what's your one called it's map my walk yeah and you can sync it to obviously to that page as well so it works quite well because then it just 
posts automatically. Yeah, it's really clever, actually. Yeah. Um, CT Whale, hey Nick, was just able to grab the fantastic Ice Blue N64 in a lot for $25. Ice, I don't think I've ever seen an Ice Blue one. Lonnie picked one up the other day, didn't he? Was yeah, it Jungle it was, Green? It was a green one, yeah. I think Jungle Green's one of the rare ones yeah. as well. Really limited. I had, what colour did I have? Was it? I had one not, not that long ago. What was that? Was it purple? remember a purple one i can't remember no. i sold it just as a unit on its own i think yeah. in the end um caroline celtic traders says fugly seems to sell better in the us from what i see of other resellers shame as i find a lot of fugly well i guess you could just put um international shipping on it yeah so that way um reseller mum i love selling fugly stuff though most of the time i actually do like it <laughs> yeah. it has its own charm it that's does. for sure <laughs> depends how you style it i mean that's fugly but it's not too bad really well it's With a plain the... top it would be all right it's personal fine. opinion whoever's buying it surely likes it yeah i wouldn't wear it but i don't i wouldn't be offended by it <laughs> and is fugly stuff from the 80s mainly 80s and 90s you find. 90s yeah, yeah. Oh, I was thinking maybe 70s if you went yeah, back to there. I suppose you do find it. Yeah. There's always fugly. Oh, yeah, because I picked up, you'll see in my hall, actually, I picked up a couple of really fugly um, 70s shirts, actually. Oh, yeah, Those you showed me that. Ones, yeah. yeah. Is there a market for that? Don't know. I'm going to give it a go. <laughs> They're only 20p each, and I liked them. So. Uh, Krillin has super chatted. Thanks, mate. Do you ever come across Famicom stuff? Yes, um, I had some Jap import Famicom games. I picked up uh, a little bundle of them a couple of summers ago, and there wasn't much money in it, nowhere near as much as I thought. But I was super into uh, the Super Nintendo, funnily enough. Um, and I used to do a lot of importing of um, Japanese games and American games. I had one of those adapters so I could play the imports. So I was just besotted to kind of just see what i used to love and i bought it all but there was not not much money and i made profit on it but there's not a lot in it um on most japanese stuff yeah so yeah it was interesting to find it though okay right yeah peter i asked did you vlog the fireworks no we didn't a bit dark <laughs> no i don't think it would have come out anyway yeah. Um, we were trying to take pictures and they weren't focusing. No. Somebody was. Was that you trying to take pictures? No, I was. Um, I did a little bit on my Insta story. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. No, we didn't vlog it. We went for pizza first with my sister, um, who you may have seen in some videos recently. And they ran out of like regular pans. So we paid regular pan price and we got like the share size each. And I ate so much pizza. I was physically ill last night. You were. You weren't feeling great this morning either. No, it's still this morning. I, I <laughs> just wasn't coping with the volume of pizza I ate. Yeah. But it, it was fun. It was good yeah. to just get out with the family and. Uh, yeah, it was a good evening, out. wasn't it? It was really nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, Caroline said, Have you ever come across a Coogie fugly jumper? I've never seen one, but they seem to sell really well. No, I haven't never seen that coogie coogie it's um c o o g i yeah g i no, never, never heard. heard of it <laughs> i really ought to wear my glasses then i quillian I says to actually see what the chat says apparently quillian sells a decent <laughs> amount of coogie oh. he's got a video about it okay if you click on quillian's icon guys you can go across and check out his videos um yeah some cool stuff over there um sib k i did not even know you had a channel there you go sib c click on the little icon i'm pretty sure you can yeah somehow from the chat you can link through pizza always gives me tummy ache says karin yeah me too i think it's because they were quite greasy and i don't cope with that too well and then i ate severe amount of pizza yeah it's one of those things you put food in front of me i'm going to eat it <laughs> mary francis says nick you do know that when you are full you are meant to stop <laughs> 
there's my problem there's not much of me you see so when i eat a lot i can't cope anyway i think yeah. we should probably wrap this up and let everybody get on with their monday evening um we are now at nine o'clock so thank you for joining us uh we've got 173 currently watching which is amazing uh particularly because we're out of schedule yeah so sorry to confuse you guys and we didn't go live last night i know to hear and beck you know missed their slot and so it's been a crazy week Hello. It's all gone a bit wrong this week, isn't it? <laughs> but as a few people said to us on the chat chat, you know, we we're allowed to have a life outside of YouTube, apparently. So we did. <laughs> apparently. Apparently. It's okay. We're allowed to go yeah. out. Yeah. Right. We on can that leave note, the chat cave every now and then. <laughs> yeah. I, I do I do go out and socialise once in a while. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Darren, they call it sharing as you're meant to share it with friends. Oh. Is that right, Darren? The thing is, we all had <laughs> yeah, these massive all pizzas. Had. Even Ellen. Ellen only managed half of hers, I think. Yeah. She should have gone back. Although, when Stuart went up and ordered theirs, they hadn't had this pan crisis, and they ordered a sharing one for the two of them. Yeah. So they, they <laughs> for the same money, no, for the more money, because they bought a sharing yeah. one for like near 20 quid or something, they got one, and then I paid a regular and got one massive one. Yeah. I don't think Stuart was impressed. Yeah. <laughs> anyway okay okay yes on that note hang on lisa fenn uh tat chat tomorrow question mark yes there will be on zahir's channel yes i think was it on Did yeah i think so because i have a guest you... chat on last no week? you didn't not last week i'm confused one or other of the channels will have a tat chat tomorrow I think at it's six Zahir's, but yeah we're thinking to here's now but i will check up on that isn't it terrible that i can't remember last tuesday and what i did anyway on that note we're going to leave you there um i hope you enjoyed seeing some of our random items we picked up at the weekend and we will see you soon thanks for joining us guys yeah, thanks have a good week everyone bye for now